And here is the Generac GP3300. And um, it's very, very effective as a home generator or as a site generator. Um, we have used it mainly for uh, emergency backup power. And this will actually run a uh, full-size kitchen fridge and some lamps at the same time. Um, it runs really well. Actually, it's very smooth. Uh, when you're close, this is a fairly um, loud generator up close, but if you stand back 20 feet, it's quiet. I mean, it's not that bad, and it wouldn't bother you that much. Now, if you tried to you know, sleep with your windows open, you'd still hear it, but um, you know, if it was uh, cold outside, you wouldn't even probably hear this thing. Um, so from a distance, you don't have to worry about sound. Not a problem. Um, if that concerns you, this handle here on the front is very helpful for moving it around. It has little rubber feet to keep it um, stationary right there as well and reduce vibration. Um, there's a good size fuel tank. This will last pretty much all night if you're wondering about that or I guess a whole uh, work day at a job site too. Um, also with various fuel types we put in here, it's worked fine each time. Uh, just taking that to the local gas station, filling it up, it's been very durable. And um, we're very impressed with this, would definitely recommend it. What we'll do in this video is also give you some clips of it running outside at night. You can get a sense of the how loud it is, uh, this generator, and how quiet it is from a distance. And then uh, we'll power up something and let you see it uh, run something there. Um, again, we've used it for several different things, fans, lamps, refrigerators, freezers as well in the garage, um, different things with um, power outages, but I'm sure it would work for any number of things, but definitely more powerful than you would think. So we would recommend it, but let's check out some of these videos of how it sounds before we end this. as you'd expect um, after it's been running it's very warm so you don't want to store anything on top of this uh, definitely can feel the heat from this thing running uh, but definitely does a great job i hope some of those helped you with uh, the sound level of it and what it can do here's just a quick overview and uh, some uh, back part of this here we can see the fuel on off switch and also the choke and run switch just so you get a sense of that on the engine um, over here you can see some of the controls for electricity. You've got your various connections there. You've got the on-off power switch, on-off generator, um, that is. And then you've also got an on-off switch for the engine itself, and that can cut the engine too. Of course, you just turn the fuel valve off too when you're done. Uh, it cools off pretty quickly after a job, and um, Definitely has always been ready to go for us. So we're very pleased having this for several years now and it works great. And now when we're talking about these power um, outlets, you see there are several right there. You've got four regular outlets and you have another one that can do uh, 240 on that as well as your run time signal there. But you've got um, quite a few options there that are um, very, very helpful for whatever you're trying to power. I guess I'd say the last thing is if you're wondering, you know, is this kind of heavy to lug around? 
Well, it is actually very easy to move it around with this handle. So I would say to drag it along on any kind of relatively flat surface or small hill is no big deal at all. Um, it is pretty heavy to get off like the bed of a pickup truck. We've done that. Um, you probably would want two people. Maybe one person could do it if a pretty strong person, but I think two would be a lot safer. But just to move it around on small hills and flat surfaces is no big deal at all. Uh, overall, I definitely recommend it. You would, uh, you know, buy this if you're considering it. It's a great generator. We've been very pleased with it. I hope this video has helped you.